you know, the stereotype you're going to think of is guys just hooting and hollering and just kind of looking at women, and, uh, and it shouldn't be. Now, we live in a world where people don't know how to dress modestly at all. And especially going into the summer, it's going to be warming up. You know, you've got a lot of women who think it's just fine to basically walk around in their underwear, right. and they call it a bikini, right, or whatever, and just expose all manner of skin that they would never do normally. I mean, if you, if you just put on underwear in a day and go off to work, I mean, no one's going to go and do that. They'd be embarrassed or ashamed to go into the office just wearing underwear, but yet you could have the same amount of people all around a swimming pool, and then they're going to have no problem with that, wearing essentially the same thing. It makes no sense. It doesn't add up. And here's the thing. The less clothing that people wear is going to lead to more lustful you know, people looking on that flesh. Now, we live in this world. One rule you can make for yourself is, well, I'm just going to go and just live off in the middle of nowhere and isolate myself. But see, God didn't call us just to go and isolate ourselves and just be completely just 100% remote and have no contact with anyone. No, we need to live in this world but not be of this world. We need to be able to interact with people of this world because we're trying to preach the gospel. We're trying to get people saved. So in that mission, of course we're becoming into contact with all manner of people. We're going to have to deal with just the world at large. So because that's one of the things that we have to do, we have to deal with, we need to make other rules to try to prevent having this lust even, and even take foothold at all in our hearts. So if you can make a covenant with your eyes, the first rule would be, you know, if something immodest or impure crosses your eye path, don't take that second look. You can't always control the first look. Right? When you're out in public and, and there's people walking around or whatever, you may not have control over, over the things that come in front of your eyes, right? You're driving your car, someone's walking across the street or whatever, it's like, boom. There's something that, that you know, maybe a lady dress that guys shouldn't be looking that way. But you know what? You could definitely control that second look. You could definitely control how long you're allowing your eyes to just feast and indulge in your mind on, on someone that's walking in front of you. Look, you need to make that rule with yourself. And all of these things are self-imposed. These aren't church rules, by the way. These are self-imposed rules for yourself. If you're wise, you'll listen to these rules and try to apply these to yourself and be mindful and think, no, I'm making a covenant. See, Job, Job made a covenant with his own eyes. He didn't make a covenant with God. He didn't make a covenant with anyone else. He made a covenant with his eyes. He's saying, you know what? Eyes, I may, we're, we're making a deal here, and we're not going to be looking on things that we shouldn't be looking on. We're not going to be looking on maids. Now, that was one example of people who are just out in the world, right? But how about exposing yourself to maybe a similar type of image in a much easier way, though, like at home, right? Television, movies, internet. These are all areas where you're going to be prone to having things pop up in front of your eyes. Now, when you're out in the world and driving or whatever, you can't always control that first look. But you know what? At home, you can. You actually can control that first look. It's just a matter of how much are you willing to not allow into your house. So you say like, oh, I'm watch I want to watch this TV show, right? And it's, and it's okay. It's pure. But what about the commercials? What about the advertisements that come up? You, know, you don't know necessarily what's going to be coming up in front of your eyes. And these days, I don't even know if there is any TV shows that, are, that you can consider would be okay. I don't know. I mean, there's a million different channels and stuff out there. I'm not spending my time watching them all, so I don't even know what's out there anymore. I just know that, that the, the mor morality of our country that's been reflected in the media has not been on the rise. It hasn't been like getting better and better and better and promoting more family values and things like that. So I would just be, I feel pretty confident saying that the amount of anything decent that you can watch, you could find on the television has just continued to drop and drop and drop and drop. So, um, but in any case, that's, that's not, I don't want to go too deep into the, the movies and stuff, but the, the, you know what I'm talking about when you have 
people being depicted in certain scenes of men and women, you know, getting close to one another, or men and, oh, God forbid, but you know, that, that type of stuff is out there too. Um, you don't want to defy, I mean, that would, that's defiling in and of itself, seeing images like that, but even just having a normal couple, like on the screen, you know, that's, you don't, you don't want to start going down that avenue to get your mind working and your flesh just kind of focused on things that are going to go down that pathway. So that's, that's one rule is controlling your eyes. 